So Huge G's comes out and says, never drink and lean again. I don't remember nothing from yesterday hanging it up. She, that's, man, that's deep. If you drink some lean and you just doing any kind of drug where you can't remember nothing from yesterday. Like, that shit gotta be messing with your brain. But C-Blue came out the next day and kind of said something similar. C-Blue kind of confuses me because maybe a few months ago he was working out on his working out wave. I don't know what happened with that and stuff, but he was on that wave. But anyway, um, a few days ago, Yush just came out and announced he was quitting lean. And yesterday, C-Blue came out and announced that he was quitting lean. And I'll say this, dog. That itch definitely put a smile on my face. I think it's dope. Anybody that's taking steps towards being healthier and better in their life, better in their situation, you you got to respect it. Then you look at the fact that these dudes have huge fan bases, kids who look up to them. Them picking up healthy habits will help the kids pick up healthy habits. If you go to any Bronx middle school, high school, any Bronx street, you're going to see them wearing denim tears. You're going to see them wearing the same thing that these rappers wear or just saying the same language that these rappers wear. They look up to these rappers. So when they're making the right moves, it's good. When y'all look at niggas like Kaiser not doing positive things, it's good. People love that. So it's dope seeing rappers take the right step in the right direction. Now, when it comes to lean and crack and all that kind of stuff, I can never judge. We all got different, you know, things that we like to do. We all got to have fun and enjoy our lives. And honestly speaking, I don't do lean. I don't do any kind of drugs. Um, but if somebody did tell me, yo, I, I do lean, but I, I do it three times a year. Somebody came to me and said, yo, yeah, I smoke crack, but three times a year. I wouldn't even look at it like it's that bad because it's like, you know, you do it every now and then. It's not taking over your life. And if you got good habits established with it, go ahead and do what you could do. But I think the issue is when people start to abuse it and they become addicts, which is why I stay away from stuff like that in general, because it's made to make you addicted. Drugs do things to your brain like there's chemicals in it that's going to keep you addicted. Same thing with alcohol, same thing with McDonald's and Doritos. Why you think a Dorito, why you think when you open a bag, you can't just have one or two or three? They they scientifically engineered it to where you need to have 40 of the motherfuckers. You dig? But all of this stuff in general is mad dope. Them choosing the positive way to go. Rap music be pushing murder, having hella baby mamas, popping perks, robbing people, all negative stuff. I want to hear rappers talk about drinking water, going on seven mile jaws, getting married, trying new hobbies. Things that give you more life. Good habits give you more life and bad habits kill you, man. I think Dougie B is a good example of that. And I think Dougie B probably influenced C Blue or Use Geese to kind of, you know, get it together. But yeah, dog, go get some money, go party, go get some females, do, dr go drink some water, go do some positive things that's going to help you grow. Digital thugs, I'm out, like, comment, subscribe, thank you for watching.